Hey everyone, my name is Courtney from the ECU School of Dental Medicine and we will be speaking with a special guest on today about oral medicine. Come on. Hello everyone, my name is Christian Penister. I'm a D2 student here at the East Carolina University School of Dental Medicine. I'm speaking with Dr. Hassan today on what oral medicine is and the role that it plays in healthcare. And he's gonna expound on that a little more. So we understand that you're an oral medicine physician, right? Or a, a doctor? Yes. Okay, so can you expound on oral medicine? What is oral medicine? So oral medicine is actually a branch of dentistry, a specialty of dentistry, which makes a perfect bridge between medicine and dentistry. So although you go to a dental school, you, you train like a medical doctor for three years, and you are able to see patients with lots of medical type conditions, which manifests itself in the mouth. And you also bill like a medical doctor and you practice like a medical doctor. So you are you kind of get the best of both worlds. Okay, and what type of services do you offer as an oral medicine doctor? So as an oral medicine doctor, I offer patients diagnosis for autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, uh, and uh, Sjogren's syndrome. I also help with cancer patients, head and neck cancer patients, and other cancer patients when they need dental clearance, I work with them. Or if they have any complications of the cancer treatment, in the mouth, other lesions, any ulcers in the mouth, any painful condition in the mouth, burning in the mouth or dry mouth, I help with those things. Okay, so I want to know a little bit more about your transition and your path. Like, what do you feel like has been the most impactful or the most interesting as far as being an oral medicine doctor? So there are one of the things which I really love about oral medicine is every day it's a new challenge. Every patient is different and is very new. And since you are helping with diagnosis and managing difficult things, it's always keeps me on the edge. There are a number of cases which I can talk about, but one in particular, which I really think was very interesting was a woman had oral ulcers and lesions called lichen planus for 40 years. And she was living in pain and she had to modify her diet all these 40 years. And she was getting treatment at several places, including prior at ECU and UNC. And finally, I modified the treatment a little bit and she became ulcer free. Now she still gets flare ups occasionally, but once in every three to six months, which is much better than having ulcer all through 40 years of her life. Okay, that was very informational. Well, I wanna thank you so much, Dr. Hassan, for expounding on your career and allowing us to see what oral medicine is like and having that option available just to maybe even take a deep further and look and see if that would be something that we would like to pursue uh, as students as we're going uh, forward on our journey. So. <sighs> It's me, I'm back. It's been a long day. Well, you guys, there you have it. Special thanks to Dr. Hassan and Christian Pinnister for helping me explain oral medicine to you all. Well, let's talk about it. Let's get to nitty gritty. So, oral medicine is a medical doctor who takes care of the oral cavity. So if you are interested in helping cancer patients or people with autoimmune diseases such as Sjogren's syndrome or rheumatoid arthritis or even sickle cell disease, well, this is a career for you. Um, Dr. Hassan serves every day ensuring the quality of life for others. And maybe one day you can do the same. Let's hope. Bye.